Alright, well we'll do an introduction first. Oh, okay. Good evening. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> let me just Yes, everything, yes, yes. I just got seen going over again. Nothing so you enjoyed that episode? Um, very much so, Miss Janice. All right. All <laughs> it right. was everything. Um, everything times 10. All right. So I'm Favorite Wiles, Janice. This is... Sadiqa. Hi, everyone. Um, <laughs> we've been watching Scandal together so for all of season two. Yes. Um, that was our Thursday night routine. And after every episode, we would watch the promo, we would slow mo the promo yes. and try to predict what was going to happen the next time. Slow mo the promo. And we got pretty good at it. Very so, good. from now on, we're going to do it with you. Yes. So, here we go. Round one. Yes. Slow mo the promo. Slow mo the promo. All right. Let's do it. You're really good at the remote control slowing it down. So, I'm going to let you. Uh, I don't like to brag, but <laughs> it is a gift. Take the glory. Take the glory. Love is back Sunday. Jenny Locke. Okay, so she's taking this chick on as a client. Mm -hmm. Doing the press. Which is obvious. You know, she's got to have her next client. Because she has no <laughs> one right now. <laughs> so I don't know how much that chick can pay. But whatever. Nothing. It's just going to get her back to where she needs to be. <laughs> Started from the bottom. Now, now we're here. here. <laughs> Pretty uh, much. Who was she talking to there? So she was saying, go for blood. Scandal is all new. He said go for the jugular. Are they talking to okay. each other? Are they talking to each other? They could be talking to each other. I don't think they are. Hmm. Unless they might be talking to each other. They could if they both to want to get her off. Yeah. But then whose blood and whose jugular are they going for? Yeah. Okay, okay, so now we have a body. That's Olivia looking at the body. She does not look happy. Um. Is that dark hair underneath that underneath that sheet? I'm kind of thinking I saw a little bit of hair. Okay, Even though I want to say, but maybe this might be too easy of a prediction. Janine gonna end up dead. That's what I'm saying. Because if we think about it, let's go back to season one when this whole thing started and the president and the girl and you know that whole thing. Then Cyrus had her killed. Charlie came in, murdered her. Blah blah blah. So I mean, That's this could why kind of be. Them. What phone is he talking on? I don't know. It's kind of teeny. It looks is like that a remote control. Is that a, <laughs> <laughs> is that a burner phone? Um, he must be. Because it's not his White House. If he puts it down, it might engulf into place. Oh, well, go for the jugular. So maybe he's doing some shady. Because he's got the yeah the um, higher end Becky Ooh. burner phone. Very true. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, he can't even talk to the Secret Service because they're just at his disposal. He? It looks like someplace in the White House. Look at this picture in the background here. It looks a little White Housey. It could be his office. His office has those curtains. Okay. His so office it, definitely has so those curtains. So that's even more suspicious. Burner mm -hmm. phone in the old in office. In the office. This is good. This is good. Yeah, is that, what is that a Nokia? It's gotta be. It's not even. Is, it, is that a remote control? <laughs> So this is the door opening to the morgue, it's wherever like she body is. Body coming out. Yes. The morgue, right? Yeah. Who else would end up dead? It. I mean, it's kind of okay. cliche to replay the whole thing that they did in the first season. You know what I mean? To but say, it makes the most sense. I mean, it does make sense because they want to get rid of the girl. It looked a little bit like hair a little bit there, but maybe not. Can you see an Adam's apple or no? <laughs> no, no. But. Someone's gonna die. Someone's gonna <laughs> so die. we need to figure out who and why. Mm. Oh, Harrison and Harrison so happy. Look happy. They're in the that's in the office somewhere. Because well, like they don't want to protect Janine because No. They because they just, exactly. It. They just are the ones who leaked it to make um, Olivia's name clear. They have that, no clue what's going on. Is that Quinn? That's Quinn. Someone's, Someone's coming, coming to the in. office. Look at her face. <laughs> That's like a shocking face. So somebody surprising. Is it the president? He wouldn't. He can't be that free that quick. Mm -hmm. Maybe Cyrus? I see a dark jacket. It's got to be someone presidential-esque. Whose arm is that? Your 
Twisty Turning. I think they're talking to each other. I really think they're talking to each other. But why is he on that burner phone? Oh, yeah, he's talking to Becky. In jail. That's right. Becky's got a burner phone as well. Um, I need Becky to die. Because <laughs> she killed Hulk's family. Alright, Janine here is talking on the phone and it's not a burner phone. Ooh, I didn't realize. Yeah, that's Janine. Ooh, is she in Olivia's house? That's what I'm, is that Olivia's couch and that phone? That is definitely Olivia's house. So she is Amanda Tanner number two. Because she's going to stay at her house. Yeah. She's going to leave. She's going to get herself killed. But it can't be that easy. Come on, Shonda's got, she's got, she's, she's better at this than that. It can't be that easy to say that this is going to kill this girl and she's going to do the whole thing again. She talks to someone, obviously, because we're looking at this, talks to someone that gets her to leave the apartment to go somewhere. Do you need luck? And the twisty turning goodness. It's definitely Olivia's house. The question is, who is she talking to when gets into the car? That's the same, oh. same outfit? Does she talk to Olivia's dad? That's one of those cars. They are. Okay, I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> we could throw that out there. Could be. Can you help purse, me? Is that a or is that like a bag? Is That's a like bag. Leave and leave it? more toward the Millie side. I agree. 100%. But, but we definitely, unfortunately, think Janine will not be with us much longer. She won't. I mean, it's how to, it's how to both worlds. It's how it goes. <laughs> you seen season one. You know what's happening. Or, oh. twist, maybe Quentin kills her. <laughs> Bring me the drill. Or, maybe they stage her killing and send her off somewhere. Maybe Olivia sends her off somewhere. I would like maybe that. Maybe we save someone this time. That would be nice. That would be nice because that's just, you know, disposing people like, you know, whatever. It makes me a little afraid for my own life. I mean, and I'm not even going to tell you the show. <laughs> so, let's, just saying. Let's put her on Pope Daddy's plane. Sends her off. Give her a new idea. Maybe Olivia is the one who killed her. Yeah, Olivia is the one who killed her. Yeah, Olivia is the one who killed her. Yeah, I like him though. Um, don't say things like that. That makes me real sad. I'm sorry. Um, I did agree with you, Edison, but Jack, it's good. You don't even. <laughs> oh, Jake, sorry about that. I think I just want to call him Jack. You know, it just sounds better. Oops. <laughs> I don't care. Sorry about that. Anyway, so. No signs of him yet. <laughs> no signs of him. Just but he's got to come back. He's got to come back. Um, okay. A little, 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 uh, Quinn sitting in the office, the computer. I believe she's sitting at. You think she's sitting at Olivia's desk? I think she's sitting at Olivia's desk <laughs> for some reason. She doesn't have a desk. She doesn't have a desk. She doesn't need anything. All she needs is a drill. So, um, I believe she's sitting at Olivia's desk doing something she should not be doing. Huck comes and closes the laptop. Stop what you're doing. You're crazy. You're a psycho. I did something to you that I didn't think I would do to anybody because they did it to me and blah, 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 blah. Crazy person. Okay. Moving on. Um, so basically, Olivia is the only one on Janine. I call her Janine Tanner. I don't know what her real, real name is. That's a good way to combine the two. But I mean, that's, that's the road she's headed down. She is. Um, so Olivia's the only one on her side because the associates put her in this mess. Mm. As did Cyrus. As, as, as did I, Melly. Maybe the president is helping. Maybe. Maybe he's helping. But I don't know why he has that burner phone. Don't That's very suspicious. That's why I think they're talking to each other. And I think they're talking about go for the juggler in terms of Cyrus and, and Melly. Like, let's really do this now. Like, they're going to do this to us, so we're going to do this to them, of course. I mean, they got to be. Who else is she going to trust? She can't, she can't trust Cyrus. And you just, I mean, you just can't trust Cyrus. So that's pretty much kind of it, besides the fact that we don't know for sure 
whose body it is in the morgue. Right. We hope it's not Janine. But we hope it. But it probably are. is. <laughs> He's it's out. Janine. He's behind a cookie roll. Well, not rolls, but cookie bakes, right? <laughs> Crumble. Crumble. Crumble, bake, you know. <laughs> That's how the cookie rolls. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Anyway, right, so, so that's it. That's pretty much it. That is our first slow mo slow promo. promo. We'll see how we do. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And we'll see you again next week. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>